Kevin Ranch, and we're going to break down a steel. I mean, a steer. So, anyway, you need a sharpening steel. You need a six inch knife. I prefer a little bit of a curve and semi stiff. Most butchers use that. So, a six inch boning knife, you have to have a, You have to have this. This is your only tool. You need a, bone, a boning hook, a meat hook, and I like an eight inch breaking knife. They have a 10 inch, but I use a, a, an 8 inch. It's just not as big. And uh, those are the only two knives uh, hook. And then if you have a sawzall, or at least a butcher's saw, you know, and that's all the tools you need. Front, one of the front corners has been hanging for 20 days. We prefer to hang it that long. I would suggest at least 10 days. So 14 days after that, you have to be careful with what you're doing and really check it, but it's up to you. Um, this is the front leg. This is the front uh, elbow. And so you cut just above the front elbow, down to the bone, follow the bone all the way up to the shoulder. And there's a, um, the front joint, the shoulder joint right here. Cut, you cut around, find that joint, and down. And this whole leg will just be sausage or hamburger. Okay, so I get my hook, I stick it in here. And then right here, I score up this crease. Okay. And then I come down right above the, the elbow until I hit that bump. Then I turn the knife this way and go toward the shoulder, okay? And you just follow that bone, okay? Until that shoulder and it's right here. Okay, and you see, you can see this roundness of this muscle. That's where that joint is. See, now if I pull down, that joint's right here. And you take your knife and kind of poke, and you'll find that where that is, okay? shoulder, this is where the front shank came off, this part, and there's a crease right here in this rib cage, and there's a shoulder blade that runs up in here. If you cut deep, you hold your knife this way, and you cut deep, you're cutting into the chuck. You don't want to do that. That's a nice gross steak. So <clears throat> you want to get behind that shoulder blade and tilt your knife this way and cut that shoulder blade off all the way down to here. So what I do is I come up five ribs. I come up one, two, three, four, five. Toward the backbone, I poke a hole, okay? So you can see where that knife blade is. This seam's gonna run right up to that knife blade up here, and you wanna cut it off at an angle that way. So you, you can see where that mark is, and if you take your knife tip and just come in a little bit, you'll feel it tap that shoulder blade. 
tap, 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 it's right there. So you want to come up just above that. See right there, it's right in line with that nick. Okay? Get your hook in there, and then I come in here, and I mark this good. I come right up here, I find that, and I just get under it, and I come right down that, right to this crease. And you'll see there's a seam here. And that's all you're doing is following that seam. Now you want to hit that shoulder blade and follow it right on out. Just like that. Cut through some soft bone, and that's okay. And then you just follow that, like that. And then again, I'm gonna cut right with that. And then right down and out that seam. And that's your front shoulder. And then your chuck stick is still in play. Your chuck roast is still there. Okay, so now this is the hind quarter, and uh, I left a rib on it, so I gotta cut around that rib, but I like to try to get every T-bone I can. T-bones are from here to this joint right here. From here to here is the rump. From here up, this is all round state, top round, bottom round, and your silver side. This is your flank steak. You can make sausage out of it or hamburger. Now I pull it open like this, I start up here, and then I just peel this right down, this way, and I just cut this off, right down, I'll follow this rib up, remove that, and trim that out for hamburger sausage, and then I'm going to take this off, And right in here, these are your T-bones. So this is your, your tailbone, your H-bone. And then if you come down, there's a joint right, right here. Okay? That's the joint. You just go in that joint and come across and go in the joint and go out that way. And you just cut this right on off with your knife. If you just use the weight of the meat and push down, it'll start to come away. And you just push around in that joint. Sometimes it's just this tiniest thing, you know, will hold that. So you just got to keep working around that joint. If I push down a little bit of pressure, then you gotta hold on to it because it'll wanna fall on the floor. You don't want that. It'll come. Right off. And you can see the T-bone. 